The Jabberwocky is a great poem by Lewis Carroll that can be a great starting point for doing all sorts of explorations with students. So in the workbook for art students, I have the poem in there, but it's easy to find on the internet and um, print it out for your students. So we have it here, and then I have a second column where students take some time to kind of translate the poem and try and figure out what is he trying to say? Because he uses these uh, words that don't really have meanings, but they sound like maybe combinations of other words. So, twas brillig in the slithy toves, did gyre and gimble in the wave, all mimsy were the burrow groves, and momraths outgrabe. Then it goes into this story, beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch, beware the jub-jub bird, and shun the frumiserous bad nursnatch. So, we can write at what's happening in each particular stanza as we go through. Um, what do you think these words kind of mean? And then um, I have my students take one stanza to illustrate for their project. And this way, at the end of the project, we can display all of them and uh, people who are visiting can read the entire poem and see the illustrations. So there are many ways that I've approached this over the years. One of them is as a painting project in the style of an artist from history. So this is uh, Miro style uh, take on it. So we see the poem is written in here and as an uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. So this would be, you know, one part of the larger poem that would be on display. Now, if you wanted to focus on one particular artist, students could work in that particular style. Uh, if you wanted them to pick an artist from history to emulate through a painting project, that would be another way that you could go with this. Um, I try and make sure that the students incorporate the text within the image, so it isn't like a box off to the side, that they're actually, um, the words are incorporated into the artwork and are just as important. Another way I've done this is through collage. So we've taken some of our leftover paints and just painted it on white paper and then use those for cut and paste. So we have, um, you know, another one done in collage. So you could see the painted pattern, almost like Eric Carle's work uh, for the, the Hungry Caterpillar. Um, so it, it makes a connection there. Um, I've also done this in three dimensions where we've done like pop-up books. Now this one is for this particular poem, but you can engineer some pop-up books and then have the stanza appearing somewhere within, uh, within that. So these are some different explorations for the Jabberwocky, and I'm going to have a link in the description below to take you to the full lesson and examples. Uh, I would really like it if you could click subscribe and you can see more, um, but follow that link and you can do this lesson with your students as well. There'll also be a link to uh, the publishing website. If you're interested in this book, you can get it through the publisher or through amazon.com. Thanks so much.